Can we start over? And uh, yeah. Get no fan dog. Say hi, no fan. Hello. My dog is begging for food. Oh gosh. What? I'm sure I gives him whatever he wants. Yeah, give this dog his food. Come on, man. Exactly. Go make the dog a sandwich. That's what you're good at. Or trip on. Trip on. Trip on. Exactly. My name is Justin. My name is Luke. Kevin. Hi, Kevin. I still remember those like uh those like videos. There's like those I think they're like penguins or whatever. And three two one penguin? Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> really stupid one. That was I fucking love that guy. I love that guy. Oh gosh, I can't believe you remembered that 3, 2, 1 penguin stuff. So. Dude, I freaking love this. Oh, oh! Dude, why do you always have to kill me? And of course you have to hollow pump. I, I'm gonna do it one more time. Oh, oh shit! Don't do it. Okay, let's get on to the episode. Okay, so, in this episode, we will be going over different ways to change direction on your roller coaster. And roller coasters are pretty unique because you can basically change direction however you want, but the two most common methods are tapering and transitioning. And this episode, I, KSI Milkman, will go over the different ways to taper correctly, and Jade will show you the different ways to transition. Okay, so you can kind of see right here, we have, we pre-made the turn. So some people are kind of, kind of complaining that the videos were too long, so we pre-made the turn so you guys can see them. We'll still be forging them, a, like so you guys can get the picture. So, um, yep. Okay. Well, starting with tapering, which is probably the most common way change direction. This type of tapering that I'm demonstrating here is called the staircase tapering. And it's basically just a small of what you do. Oh, here, let me show you. And I, let me bring it over to the track that we're building. And uh, for those of you who do not know that, that we pulled, um, yeah, there's, there's some kind of person on here. Thanks, Hilbert. Hilbert! And, uh, he is actually right before the hill. I am, it looks like Hilbert has uh, a face on it, fucked over from Noble Borger. <laughs> and yeah. we delete that. <laughs> There's Hilbert. The smell is the opening of the container. No, right here. Uh, and Kenneth. And the eyes. Well, I personally think it's a triangle. So. Yeah. That's over. His eyes are the little dots on the man cannon. Okay, let's put yeah. some white ones. Let's put some flashing red ones. Basically, it's just like right before I can hold it. Yeah, I can't call him over. He's a good friend. My only friend. Very great friend of ours. We'll be seeing more of him. And his twin brother, Wilbert. Which we'll play major. Okay, so back to the tapering. Basically, how you staircase taper is you would align your piece like you would do normally. Hey, where's the cameraman? I'm right here. I'm, I'm doing the filming. It, it looks like one of your pieces is really aligned up. Well, it's a quick lag. 
On my screen, it looks different. Uh, and on, on uh, every um, new turn, we're going to use different colors. So I guess that's the going to be blue. Yep. So, um, Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. And so, you would align the piece, and then you would just slightly turn it either left or right so that one of the corners is misaligned. And it's kind of like a staircase going in one direction. Got a little picture right there for you guys. And these are actually the uh, block 2 by 2 short. Yes. Okay. Oops. You can see on this side, it is basically perfectly smooth, and then on the other side, it's basically a staircase. But the way we're doing the staircase tapering, it, it looks like a, it's a lot, but it's actually only a little bit, and it's perfectly smooth when you drive on it fast. Which we'll just, we will show it a few once we get to driving it. Uh, I'll, I'll wait but a couple pieces. This is the correct way to staircase taper. It's only a small, a small little yeah, like taper. Not a big Show the RLD hot small and taper. <laughs> hey, that's me. Yeah. Oh. That's what he did back in Reach. Yeah, here, quickly I'll, I'll forge a piece where it's way too much of the paper and this is where it just gets bad. Uh, most people can actually understand that, but like this? No. And, 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 no. That is a no-no, people. That, that is a people. people will hate that. When you're trying to make a, uh, a good track, that is something to avoid. Remember, just a small decrease, maybe about five degrees, if you use rotation snap. And uh, you might think five degrees is barely anything. Well, if uh, you start on a down degree right here, it only took us like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten pieces to get flat. Going to be and knowing when and when not to taper. For here, if I were to continue taper for these next four pieces, the track wouldn't level out. And so I stopped the tapering and made a smooth turn, kind of like how we did in the first, oh, what's it called, tutorial? How we tilted left and then up. And so that's what I did for these last pieces. I just tilted it left and up. If you didn't watch the um, episode two, then you wouldn't know what I'm talking about, unless you're a pro forger yourself. Oh yeah, gotta color these blue. Yeah, I'll, I'll quickly color these. Uh, yellow. And you can see right here, this is the transition that I made, which will be covered right after it's done. And, and you know, can you drive it really quick so you can show them how smooth the tapering yeah. is? And people can see how Hilbert works. Getting out of my boots and out of Yeah. Okay, going up the hill. Hilbert. If there's a little tiny bit of bump, it's okay. But it doesn't like mess you up or anything. It's still turn. So. And when you're on a roller coaster in real life, like when one is it bumpy? Uh, yeah. Some people will throw up this quick of all stuff. <laughs> I've actually had that happen before. Roller coasters, I didn't throw up with someone's food up right next to me. Oh. Bad experience. Why are you talking about throwing up while I'm eating some Papa John's meat lovers pizza? Hey, You're hey, pointing the kid. Got it. Good, oh, good job on your pizza, my lover. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. We are going on to the transition. 
Now basically when I make a transition, I actually don't make these types of transitions anymore. I I like to use different pieces to the smoother. But these are the normal transitions that people usually see. So basically I just pack towards one of them and try to forge them over. Yeah, I, I normally don't staircase taper either, but that's the most common type. So basically what I did is I added two more pieces. Not too much on the inside, that last one's a little bit on the inside, so... Yeah, and then basically what you do is you take a piece, like, you duplicate that piece, and then you lift up the corner and add it. basically why you it. That's the direction you want to go in that angle. So, um, right, we're kind of trying to kind of light. And basically, soak it up like that. Now, I'm just going to quickly put this piece right here. Let me show you the next part. Okay. Now, basically, once you're done with that part, that's the first part of the transition. Okay. Some people just do one transition. Some people like to do double transitions, but I'm going to do a double transition so people can see. I can't do And basically, you just do the same exact thing. You can have a video without me and Nancy or something. <laughs> Now that's basically a transition. Um, I think I'll show you some more uh, kind of transitions, I guess, later, so we don't get too far. On, uh, well, we have sorry. 12 minutes. We have 12, we've done 12 minutes. Um, I want to show you guys something off to the side. If you guys can't get staircase tapering down, there's an easier way to taper. It's simple. It only involves duplication, magnets, and a simple flick of the wrist. And so, I'll spawn a piece going down. Um, if I can find a piece. <laughs> Bridges. Bridge XO large here. Okay. And then, my favorite piece to do this tech taping, the teleporter frame. And so what we're going to do, is we're going to place a normal piece, duplicate it, and turn the magnets on. Okay? Now align the piece, just perfectly like that. Now, for instance, I'm going to turn left, and I'm also going to tilt it in a certain direction. So that part part of it is to the left, going under the piece, and part of it is going over the previous piece. And this is a tapering called inverse tapering, or so we call it, like, orders. But, um, it was first seen in Halo Reach. Someone who was popular for using it was Rookies and Milk. Well, rookies and Rookies Cookies. And then people saw it and people caught on to it. And I personally like it myself. I think it's a lot smoother of a taper. Even though it doesn't look it, it's smoother to me. And I believe we did see that on Supernova, I believe. Did we? Huh? I believe we did this on Supernova. Yeah, we did this on Supernova. Yeah. A few times. Very smooth tapering, but remember, make sure you don't taper it too much or else it will be bumpy and you'll fly off the track. You'll see some examples of it on uh, one of my new maps. Uh, it's Village in French, I'm not sure how to say it. It's not out yet, I'm still trying to figure out how to put it, but, like, um, that hill elevator to work. So, yeah. And it's a lot nicer of the tapering as you can see. It's a lot easier to do. But it's not like with the staircase taper. 
you can actually taper more than you can the inverse taper because of course there's a part sticking out of the track so if your wheels hit it you're gonna do some barrel rolls <laughs> yeah. and these are the pieces that I basically like to use for transitions now because they are a lot smoother and they just look a lot nicer in my opinion so basically you just do the same exact thing I'm just doing it flat right now, so you guys, so I can quickly do it. Okay. Basically, it's just like this. It's a lot smoother, and it does look a lot better. See right there. Probably not a smooth one, but a quickly made one. And, so yeah, these are the main tools you'll be using to change direction in your track. And no, ch quickly change direction. I mean, there's a lot of different ways. But these are the, probably the two main ways. The tapering and the transitioning. And as soon as you're able to master these and know when and where to do them, you can start making coasters. You just hit me on because the It's because, um, you can change direction. You can do whatever you want with your tracks, and if you can do whatever you want with your tracks, you'll become a better forger. Simple as that. No okay. pain. Now, I'm very hard working. I'm doing thing driving. There we go. Oh, we're gonna fix over it a little bit. Uh oh. Uh, I think it's fixed over a little bit. That's okay. Not everything's perfect. No, but... No, but I can hear it saying that. Miley Cyrus has this. I hear it. Oh, it's that kind of thing. I love that song. Anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Thought it was helpful. Comment, rate, and subscribe. If you want to see more awesome content from the Transforgers channel, and you'll be certain to see one of these videos, or at least two of these videos a day, depending on J Dog's mood. Yeah. Yep. And depending on how many sandwiches Trip Mind makes him. Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't made me a lot. Like, I did. Yeah. And. Hilbert. Yeah. Is bye. Yes, he does. This is Hilbert, KSI Milkman, and. My name again? Oh, J Dog. Fred, I mean, J Dog. And we're.